Engineering inventions by soldiers serving in Afghanistan have improved operational effectiveness and are saving the MOD tens of thousands of pounds. The innovations range from securing the safe transport of Chinooks to the efficient frying of chips. Rob Oliver reports from Camp Bastion. One of the deep fat fryers found in military kitchens across Afghanistan. In use round the clock, many break down. Craftsman Adam Brunetti repairs them. We get quite a few burners come in that just won't start. Uh, they won't fire up and ignite. Um, it could be a number of things. It could be a fuel supply problem. It could be a transformer problem which causes your spark. It could be an air pressure switch. Once, the only way of fixing the custom-built fryer was to completely dismantle it and change all its expensive components. Then Adam Brunetti invented an electronic test box that checks each of the cooker's individual systems. It bypasses printed circuit boards and electronic switches and goes straight to the components um, just by using a, a simple circuit board. The result, faster repair time and undamaged parts no longer replaced. Craftsman Brunetti says his test box has already saved more than £100,000. But bills could be slashed even further by an army driver's idea that Camp Bastion's equipment support battalion welders have redesigned and turned into reality. It concerns large helicopters like Chinooks. If they break down, how do you prevent them being damaged even more because the recovery vehicle's not wide enough? The Remi welder's solution is a sturdy frame with rests for the aircraft's wheels. It fits onto a trailer and they've designed similar platforms for Merlins and Sea Kings. With this frame we've modified the heavy equipment trailer so that they can put a Chinook onto that uh, trailer and bring it back without doing minimal damage to it. That could be the difference between getting a helicopter back in the air in a couple of days rather than a couple of months or not at all. Previous guys have been out in the ground. Um, they reckon just by lifting the airframe it's cut it down by eight hours. But perhaps the most ingenious idea that's emerged from Afghanistan is the simplest. Company Sergeant Major Kev Stacy has spent six months washing from plastic bottles to which he's added a nozzle. More efficient, he says, than military shower bags. You could actually shower with two bottles, two litres of water. With uh, the solar shower, you're probably looking at about six, seven litres. And the fact that the solar shower as well, it sort of dribbles down over your body, whereas this, you can actually direct the flow off the, the water. All these inventions have now been adopted by the MOD through GEMS, a scheme that offers cash rewards for ideas that benefit the armed forces. And officials here say that Afghanistan has been a breeding ground for innovation. Whether it is in Bastion or forward in one of the PBs, it's not like being at home. So you tend to be more creative. But one thing the inventors can never do is patent their ideas. Once the MOD has paid out a GEMS cash prize, the idea becomes crown property. Rob Olver, Forces News, Camp Bastion.